We have a great fan support system out there. You know, the guys are tweeting us and, and yelling our names out, got these signs out. Just, it's just a great feeling being a part of that. A Rowdy Reptile is the loudest, craziest fan at the University of Florida. No, it's all about us. It's all about us waiting to gate three, waiting to cheer on Patrick Young, Will You Get, Casey Prather. Like all them boys, oh man, that's what being a Rowdy Reptile is. Being there for your team when you're down and they out, bringing the energy to them, that's what we all about. That's what we all about. It just means being a part of one of the best student, student fan bases in the country. Um, the energy is incredible and it just feels special to be part of something like this, especially when the teams are doing so well. A Rowdy Reptile is someone who comes to all the games, gets excited, gets the team excited, and stays, stands on their feet, cheers really loud, and just shows their support for the Gators. Being a Rowdy Reptile is a big responsibility. Uh, you know, People think that watching sports is more of a leisure activity, but uh, for every basketball game I go to, I see it as almost like a job. To be a Rowdy Reptile, it doesn't matter um, how the team's doing. You should be still going to the game, supporting them, um, and have a lot of energy at the games. Uh, and we focus specifically uh, on basketball with the Rowdy Reptiles, and uh, the crowd's been great this year. And, and the rest of the Rowdies have been awesome in the past couple years. I just think that means, you know, being dedicated and, you know, if that means sacrificing some other things in your life, obviously we don't condone, like skipping class or anything like that. Um, but it, it is kind of a sacrifice to be like a dedicated Rowdy Reptile and go to all the games and, and be, you know, really energetic there. I think that's what kind of goes into it. One uh, interesting experience that didn't really play into the actual playing of the game was uh, when Dick Vitale came into town for the Missouri game, which is when we were doing the uh, Justin Timberlake suit and tie night. Uh, he had actually ended up coming into uh, our row when we were in the student section and was just kind of hanging out with us for a few minutes and you know got my phone out and took a selfie with him and he, he had his uh, you know he took somebody's uh, orange and blue wig and the sunglasses and stuff and he was wearing that so it's. It, it, that, was, that was a cool moment to just have uh, have Dickie V up there. What's the crazy experience Kansas. we had at Reptile? Oh man, it had to be that Kansas game. I'm a boy over here said that Kansas game was phenomenal. The atmosphere, it was almost like a football atmosphere. The Oh my goodness, it was just crazy. Was uh, by far a crazy experience. Craziest experience was the 21-0 run in the first half of the Kansas game last December. Um, I thought the O-Dome was literally going to explode just because everybody was going so nuts. and. Um, my mom saw me on TV, so that was pretty cool too. I've never wanted anything in my life as much as I wanted to win that Auburn game, so all those people just standing and cheering with me, it was, it was awesome. Well, certainly through the, uh, the Rowdies, I've met a lot of good friends, some of my best friends here at, uh, at college right now, and um, just being the vice president and having the organization go on, uh, I've certainly made a lot of connections with people that uh, I would probably have otherwise not met. There's a great amount of friends you make. Um, usually people you won't really see until you get here again for the next game or whatever. Uh, there's a lot of friendships that you'll make and the dedication, you know, everybody's all here for the same purpose and you can, you know, be crazy, ridiculous and go nuts and not even have to worry about what anybody else thinks because they don't care because they're feeling the same way. I'd have to say what I love most is being able to stand there next to all of my fellow fans and, uh, you know, we share a sense of pride and brotherhood. Uh, I think it's important to support the team because there's students just like you, you know, they're working hard in classes and they're also going out and doing this basketball stuff or this sports stuff for us. So, you know, they're putting a lot more time in than we are by going to cheer for them. So, if you like sports, if you like you know, the Gators, and I think you should go out and support them. Because it's, it's a lot of fun to go out there and cheer them on too. They feed off it, uh, you know, it definitely gives us an advantage. That they're always, especially when they go on a big run, they're always looking at us, um, you, know, you know, throwing their hands up in the air, you know, yelling something to us. So it, it's definitely, uh, this team in particular too, they're, you know, very passionate. Um, obviously very good basketball players. They're very engaging with the fans. Very, yeah, very good, uh, you know, a lot of players in this team, that, you know, there's not really a player on the team that the fans don't like. We want everyone loud, we want everyone cheering on the team. And so we're just, uh, we're constantly striving towards in improving the student section. That's already great. I mean, since 
since the, the Rowdies have become a formal organization, we're undefeated at home. Uh, so that's in the, in the last two years. Uh, so I think the results speak for themselves. Obviously, a good basketball team has played into that as well. But Listen, our fans, since I've been here in 18 years, that was one of the greatest send-offs I've ever seen for a senior class since I've been here. And our fans deserve a lot of credit for that. We have a, a great atmosphere here, great fans. The, the crowd is just amazing. <laughs> I love it, no playing in here, uh, the fans. Uh, when the crowd get into the game, it, it really, it gives us energy. It's unreal, you know, unlike any other place. I, I, I believe we have the best fans in the country. Oh yeah, I'll give you a shout out to Rowdy Reptiles. Good job, baby, we love you. <laughs>